freaking moment for so freaking long you guys can see these freaking boxes over here are my new wheels all right let's unbox these for you guys ah. box number one let's do this i don't even know where to begin So I've been waiting for these wheels for like about like two months maybe a month or two and dude it's finally time Ooh. All right, nothing yet nothing yet guys nothing yet Moment of truth, moment of freaking truth. Oh, the box is upside down. <laughs> Here you guys get a little sneak peek. Oh my, oh my. Too much, too much. All right, let's, let's flip this thing around, see what's in here. Packaging is really nice. Some guys over here. Let's see where should I put you guys? Right there. Right there. It's time. Alright, it comes with these little thingies. So uh they don't get damaged. Put those to the side. Oh my god. Dude. You guys, this is crazy. Oh my god. Ugh. All right, let's, let's give you guys a closer look. All right, so this is what I got. These will be going on the BRZ. I got the Blitz Techno Speed Z1s with the gold caps, the gold. Hardware and these are my first three-piece wheels so Had to make sure all the specs are right and everything so got three more boxes to go and I got All these parts laying out just waiting for these freaking wheels to be put on I got the Cusco lower control arms. I currently have the PBM lower control arms, but um, I'm gonna be installing the rear upper control arms so um, there might be a problem with running a drop arm instead of a straight arm, which I could explain to you guys in a uh, further video. But I got the adaptive spacers because these are 5 by 114 so I'm going to have to be running those. And I got these freaking sick lug nuts with the lock in it. I'll show you guys how sick these are. And I got these... Uh, Adaptive spacers as well by Project Kicks. So, oh my God, no words, guys. This is crazy. And also, I have this ceramic coat laying around waiting for these wheels to come in. So, we will be doing that too. Now, let's go ahead and unbox these other three wheels and get to ceramic coating. Guys, I was considering uh, other three-piece wheels like uh, Meisters, Workmeisters, or VSXXs or whatever, but I mean, those are pretty common on the BRZFRS platform, so I try to go with something different. There are a few that have these wheels already, but 
not too many, so hopefully I can be a little different, you know what I mean? So I'll show you guys here how it's packaged. We got these little thingies on each. I guess you could say there's no corner, but I mean <laughs> edge and yep, held in with this. Wheel number three. Wheel number four right here. Alright guys, got all the wheels unboxed now. Got this big old mess. Gotta clean it up. That's all good. Ooh. Alright guys, it's time to ceramic coat. Here we got the Deluxe uh, Plastic and Wheel Ceramic Coat Ceramic Coating and just got this off of Amazon and I've uh, heard good things about it so let's try it out. I'm gonna ceramic coat these wheels, make sure they stay nice and clean and fresh, especially because they're white. Alright, so in the box you get this little bottle, you get the I have no idea what this little sticker is. You got this little applica applicator pad thing, and you got this little microfiber. All right, so let's open this bottle. First step, it says basically you just put the applicator pad, take the microfiber, put it around, I'm guessing, like that. And, oh, it comes with a lot, it comes with four of them. So I guess one for each wheel. It's perfect. So I guess you take the the uh, applicator pad, put the fiber on it like that. Put a couple drops, not too much. I'm pretty sure not too much. Ooh, this thing smells strong. It smells like nail polish. Put just a few drops in there, and now we will wipe them onto the wheels. And it says after you wipe them on one for one minute, then you wipe it off and then it should be good. I'm back in Chicago. I flew first class. I'm a rich man. I came up on a broke gas. Copping clothes, attracting hoes that they can't grab. I'm doing shows, not for the low. I need 10 racks. Did I say 10? I can't count. I need 50 50. Uh, ain't no fighting when I'm around. I got Simmy with me. You want a feature with your budget? I need a pretty penny. I'm so sorry. I can't help it. I feel too sedity. Yeah. Alright, one wheel's finished. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but uh, just gonna continue on to the other three wheels and I'll update you guys when we get there. Alright everyone, just finished ceramic coating all four wheels. I'm not even sure if I did it right, but I guess we'll see when we put them on the car. And let me show you guys these lug nuts. 
how they work. All right, guys. So here are these lug nuts. They are Project Kicks R40s, racing composites. So cool thing about these is that at the end of the nut, pause. There, this thing swivels and spins. So basically, when you tighten the lug nut, it won't scratch your wheel. Because once there's enough torque, then this will stay in place and only the outside part will spin. Like that. And it comes with a lock, which basically keeps the thieves away. And the key, so only this key can open this specific lug nut. Like that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the video. Stay tuned. If you guys want to see these on the car and the process of it. And like, comment, subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Peace. Keep a toaster in that Gucci bag, might have to come pick him up